As the world's largest supplier of consumer metal packaging, Crown has a unique geographic and product balance. In fact, that was the theme of our 2014 Corporate Annual Report balance. 26% of our revenue will come from the U.S. and Canada, 32% from Western Europe, and 42% from the rest of the world. And by that we mean Asia Pacific, Latin America, the Middle East and Africa, and Eastern Europe. 58% of our pro forma 2015 revenue will be attributable to beverage cans. More than half of that will stem from the developing markets. And in fact, most of our corporate developing market presence is in the beverage can area. Developing markets and beverage cans are expected to grow and have grown at a faster rate than the overall global average of, of 3%. Crown has an industry-leading presence in the developing markets and the best geographic footprint in the industry. In fact, in several countries and regions, we've been present for decades. Our customers in the developing markets include a range of multinational, regional, and local companies, which market a wide variety of beverages, both alcoholic, such as beer, as well as non-alcoholic, such as carbonated soft drinks, juices, teas, and those beverages which are unique to local markets and local tastes. Cans, we've found, have grown faster than other packaging formats, and this is for a variety of reasons due to the attributes of the beverage can, such as the offering of several different sizes to prompt or to meet the demand for different usage occasions, Cans chill easily, they're infinitely recyclable, they offer excellent graphics capabilities, and they are very, very conducive to our customers' filling process, as well as the transportation and distribution systems, particularly in those countries where, where those can be challenging. From a macro perspective, as we look forward, we expect these trends to continue. 41% of the world's consumer expenditures are expected to be in developing markets in the year 2020. Crown is the largest metal packaging company in Asia outside of Japan. Our revenue in this region has essentially tripled over the last 10 years. Southeast Asia comprises the largest portion of our Asia business. We have leadership positions in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Singapore a strong presence in Malaysia and Thailand, and substantial operations in China. We've experienced very robust growth in the Asia Pacific region. In fact, over the last few years, it's been double digits in both Southeast Asia and China. However, there are different underlying reasons for growth in different countries. For example, in Vietnam and Cambodia, increasing household income, purchasing power and tourism have driven investment. Whereas in Thailand, consumer preference for smaller size cans has led to our commissioning a line over the last year to meet this demand. In addition, throughout Asia, we've seen a conversion from three-piece steel cans to lighter weight two-piece aluminum cans. And we have responded to meet that demand by consumers and our customers. Most of our investment in Asia Pacific has been through Greenfield facilities, which is the construction of a new beverage can plant. However, we also have completed some smaller acquisitions to add to our portfolio in the region. Crown has been very pleased with our business in the Latin America region. We have a very strong presence in Brazil, and we are the leading beverage can producer in both Colombia and Mexico. In Brazil, we've expanded from two plants to five over the last 10 years, and we've also added can-making lines to our existing plants to meet the growing demand in that country. Brazil is the world's third largest beer market by volume, and it's the largest market on a per capita basis. And part of this is due to the organic growth but in addition, we've seen a significant mix shift towards cans for beer, 
And this has really been driven by two things. One is that we've seen an increase in off-premise consumption of beer, which is conducive to the growth of cans. And also, we've helped ourselves by introducing a number of different can sizes which have met the demand for and in fact created new consumption occasions for beer. For example, a nine ounce can is very popular in Brazil on the beaches. We're very pleased with our recently expanded presence in Mexico. We recently purchased the packaging assets of Heineken, which are called Impaque. And we're now the largest beverage can producer in Mexico. Mexico is the world's third largest soft drink market and its sixth largest beer market, and has experienced significant growth in the past, and this robust pace is expected to continue into the future. Moving to the Middle East and Turkey, the market is primarily composed of carbonated soft drinks and non-carbonated beverages such as juices and teas. In both of these regions, Crown is the leading beverage can supplier. We've been in the Middle East for decades and have operations in Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Tunisia. In Turkey, we added our second facility in 2013 to meet increasing demand, which in part was fueled by consumers increasing interest in recyclable packaging. In both Turkey and the Middle East, we've grown our business through greenfield investments. The growth over the past several years in the developing markets of beverage cans has been truly exciting. We're pleased and proud to have helped to foster that growth. And moving forward, we've certainly set the stage to continue our industry leadership in serving our customers' expanding needs in these dynamic, growing regions of the world.